Hey there and welcome. I'm so glad you can join me today because today I'm at Biltmore Estates. You know that one of my favorite places in the world and I'm going to share with you 10 tips to make the most of your summer at Biltmore Estates. So come along. Go with me. Oh wait, I'm going in the wrong direction. Come on, let's go. Are you ready for some hot sizzling tips on how to enjoy Biltmore Estates this summer? You are? Great, let's go. Biltmore Estates is an ever-changing environment, especially from season to season. If you've ever been to Biltmore one or a hundred times, there's always something new. Each season ushers in new discoveries, activities, exhibits, and food. Let's look at the summer fun that you can expect this year. There's some activities that you can expect to find at Biltmore every summer, but pay close attention because some are only here for the 2021 summer season. Let's talk about securing your house time online in advance. I can't stress enough how important this tip is. Only a specific number of people are allowed in the house at a time, and with COVID, the numbers may even be smaller. Not to mention, summer is a popular time at Biltmore Estates and fills up quick. If you wait until you arrive at Biltmore to buy your house admission ticket, you may be out of luck. If viewing the inside of that Biltmore house is important to you, reserve your time slot online ASAP. I mean, like now, go to your computer now and do it. The good news is that if you secure a time and end up missing it, or you need a different time for whatever reason, it is so much easier to switch your house time when you've already got a ticket than it is to get a ticket once space is filled up. If you've missed your house time or need a new one for any reason, just ask the nice greeters at the house waiting line. They'll let you know when you'll be able to enter. It is okay. okay. <laughs> we'll let you in. And are these audio guys? For extra fun at Biltmore in the summer, be sure to horse around. I mean, like, literally, horses can literally take you around the estate in a carriage. <laughs> carriage rides are a special Biltmore treat that is not offered year-round. Weather permitting, summer is a fabulous time to explore the estate on 30 or 60 minute carriage rides for up to six people, or you can opt for a 90 minute private ride for up to four guests. To participate in a carriage ride, you'll need to either have a daytime ticket to Biltmore Estates, an annual pass, or be a guest at one of Biltmore's on-site overnight properties. You'll definitely wanna take time to see the unique temporary exhibits that can only be found at Biltmore this summer. Included with your admission price to Biltmore Estates, you can enjoy unique temporary works of art, such as stick work, an interactive outdoor sculpture entitled Free as a Bird, crafted and displayed in Antler Hill Village. Internationally acclaimed artist Patrick Doherty has built over 300 of these works, such as this one-of-a-kind stick sculpture that can only be seen at Biltmore Estates. But hurry, this exhibit is only sticking around until September 30th, 2021. Did you see what I did there? Stick work, sticking around. The Biltmore Railway is another temporary exhibit that you can view this summer. It can be found at the conservatory until September 26th. The winding train display features replicas of structures connected with Biltmore and its founder, George Vanderbilt. Each beautifully executed piece was handcrafted from natural elements like leaves, bark, and twigs, and it runs in and out of the conservatory and meanders from room to room and even into outdoor spaces. In order to fully enjoy your Biltmore experience, be sure to eat at one of the Biltmore restaurants. Whether you eat at one of the house restaurants or at Biltmore Village, dining is a unique and delicious part of the Biltmore experience. Their menus feature fresh, estate-raised produce and meats and local seasonal ingredients. I was actually gonna get that. Some restaurants offer online reservations, such as the dining room, but some don't. Make sure to check Biltmore's website to check to see if you need a reservation and also to check the hours of operation. To dine on the estate, you will need to have a daytime ticket to Biltmore, an annual pass, or stay at one of the estate's overnight properties. Or if you happen to have somebody in your party that is an annual pass holder, everyone that is in the same car as that pass holder can get into the Biltmore Village without paying an additional entrance fee after 5 p.m. Another great way to experience Biltmore is to hit the trails, whether it's hiking or biking. You can wander through historic gardens and woodland trails, meander through the meadows along the French Broad River, 
Enjoy Biltmore at your own pace with nearly 22 miles of hiking trails on the estate or take a guided hike. Maps are available at the Bike and Barn Outdoor Adventure Center. And with biking, there's access to more than 20 miles of biking trails and are free for all guests. You can choose from well-marked single track woodland dirt trails for a challenging ride or some flat paved trails along the French Broad River for a more leisurely ride. You can bring your own bike or you can rent one. At Biltmore, you can also go on a grand adventure. There's so much more to do at Biltmore than you can imagine. From animal encounters such as falconry and time spent at the animal farm to off-road Land Rover rentals, kayaking, clay shooting, boating, and more. There's all kinds of adventures to be had beyond the house and gardens. So check out their website for info, pricing, and hours. And I have to mention it, if you really want to make the most of your time at Biltmore, you need to be smart and prepare for rain. It can get rainy in Asheville, so it's a good idea to bring water-resistant jackets or maybe even an umbrella just in case. I mean, it just can't hurt to bring waterproof protection for your electronics as well. A rainy day can be salvaged if you're prepared. It's better to be safe than soaked. And sometimes all you have to do is wait it out. As you can see behind me, the sky's starting to get blue. So I have hopes it's gonna get better. And it's the mountains. It can be rainy one second, perfectly sunny the next. That's just the way it is in the mountains. Another great way to make the most of your time at Biltmore is to stay at one of the Biltmore properties. There's simply a different feel to staying on site at the estate. It just feels different. You can stay at the inn on Biltmore or the village hotel or one of their cottages. And to stay at Biltmore is to immerse yourself in the Biltmore culture. By staying at a property where you're surrounded by acres and acres of Biltmore's farms, trails, waters, and shades of times past. It takes you out of the hustle and bustle of the city and gives you the feel of an out of the way country estate where you can leave the cares of the world behind you for a while. Uh, you can also check out their offers and packages that you can book along with your room for discounts and custom experiences. Catching a sunset at Biltmore is a magical moment. If you've watched some of my other Biltmore videos, you've probably seen me mention the sunsets on the terrace at the Biltmore house. Unfortunately, in the summer months, the estate house and grounds have closed long before the sun sets. But don't worry, there are other great places on the estate to catch the beautiful sunsets. The lagoon is a lovely spot to sit or take a walk while you watch the sunset. There's also a really cool view of the Biltmore house from the lagoon too. Another great place to see a sunset is on the terraces at Biltmore Village and on their overnight properties. Could you imagine watching the sunset from one of these spots in Biltmore? Another great way to make the most of your time at Biltmore is to take one of their guided specialty tours. If this is your first time at Biltmore, the audio tour is sufficient. It will give you a lot of history and fun facts about the estate and each of the specific rooms as you pass through. However, if you've already done the audio tour before, or if you're a history buff and want to see and hear beyond what's included in the audio tour, then an additional specialty tour is right for you. I've personally taken the rooftop tour and I loved it. It was amazing to be able to see the estate grounds from the top of the roof on the Biltmore house and to get up close and personal with the gargoyles and the tiles and see the detail that went into building this estate from the very bottom to the top. It's also a really cool tour to take in different seasons to get a bird's eye view of what the grounds and gardens look like during each season. I took my tour around Christmas time and I'm itching to get back to see what it looks like when the gardens are more vibrant. Summer would be the perfect time to get to see the grounds in their full glory. During normal years, Biltmore offers live concerts on the lawn. Unfortunately, due to the current pandemic, the concerts are canceled this summer. Fingers crossed that they'll be back in 2022. Um, drop a comment and say hello and tell me what you like about Biltmore. Or what was your favorite tip? I'd love to know. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch. And if you enjoy travel and learning about destination information, travel hacks, tips, deals, and reviews, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you know when my next travel video is posted. And be sure to follow my blog as well. 
You're more than welcome to go and check out some of my other travel videos too. Happy travels!